RNAi is the uh, process in cells where a cell can use small bits of RNA to silence a specific gene. There were, you know, experiments in plants where people were introducing DNA into the organism. For the petunia, they were trying to put in a gene that should make the purple pigment more purple. Instead, what happened was the gene they introduced led to the silencing of the corresponding genes. Almost like that sort of eureka moment was the genetic understanding that organisms use the same basic machinery for, for controlling the flow of information uh, over so many billions of years. It's just incredible. The Nobel Prize is wonderful in that it, it it highlights discoveries in the sciences that have um, impact on, you know, basically our understanding of our place in the universe. I knew that, that was, they were announcing it, but I never expected me uh, or Andy to get the, the call that night um, because it had only been eight years since uh, our paper. We knew that we were working on something fundamental and important, hopefully important to humans, but um, it wasn't really on our horizon that our research would lead to new cures or therapies in, in our lifetimes even. Tom and Phil decided to set up an experiment to see if they could detect this RNA silencing process in a test tube. Because if you can do it in a test tube, you can chemically analyze the process. And literally, the first experiment worked. Paul Schimble, David Bartell, Tom Tushel, Phil Zamor, and myself worked out the biochemistry of RNAi. Well, could we take these small RNAs that we could make in vitro at will and then introduce them into human cells and treat disease? And that was the origin of the ideas behind the formation of a nylon.